How are you doing, Facebook Live? Nice to see you. Good evening. It's a little late. I've had a long day, but I'm going to jump on here real quick and hopefully share something valuable with you. Let me get Instagram going. Just one second. Good evening, Instagram Live. Nice to see you all. Hopefully, you're having an amazing morning, evening, afternoon, wherever you're tuning in from around the world. Uh, let's see, we have some people joining us as you're tuning in. Love to know number one, where you're tuning in from. Number two, love to know three things you're grateful for. Shannon, nice to see you. Carrie, welcome. Today, Alex, what's up, Alex? Christy, nice to see you. Mr. Stuart Allison, welcome. Joelle, welcome. Lizette, nice to see you. Now, today is number 32 of our 100-day personal performance and business growth challenge. Uh, on day, Janice, nice to see you, welcome. Uh, on day number 32, we'd love to know number one, where you're tuning in from, number two, love to know three things you're grateful for. Sarah, nice to see you, welcome. Hello from Ontario, Canada, hopefully you're staying warm, Africa. Grateful for friends, cool weather, and the Super Bowl. Very nice. It is. Alex said he's grateful for God, Big J, and life. Very nice. Um, so today's topic on day number 32 is, I won't sell you if you don't sell me. Let's just be accurate. Now, where this applies is not sales. Um, today, I was interviewing three different people to come and work for us. Uh, we have some sales positions open that we're hunting for, some amazing salespeople to join our team. Um, and as I was interviewing them, one thing that needed to be talked about, needed to be brought up, it's very important, is oftentimes we get into positions that we get excited about whatever is right in front of us in the moment. And I don't know about you, but I've gotten excited where I've decided I want this position, person, situation, opportunity. And because I want this, what lands up happening is I go into presentation mode, sales mode, where I get all hyped up and I start telling you of all the reasons why I'm the best fit and I'm going to do it and I'm going to sell more than you ever imagined. I'm going to be the hardest person the hardest working person that's ever been here. And, and I'm going to do this and I'm going to over deliver and I'm going to do this. And I don't know if you've ever done this. Let's see. Let's check the comment section. How many of you have ever gotten triggered to the point that you wanted something and it's either wanting a date with somebody or wanting a certain job that was open and then you just started selling. And at some point you realized I think I might be overselling my capabilities, my capacity. I think I might be overselling what it is that we're sharing with people. And what I've noticed is if you can just be of integrity, it changes everything in this situation. And what's fascinating about this is if you take away trying to sell people, and I could tell you a whole list of tactics of how to future pace, how to, how to influence them, how to tie their identity to it, how to, how to test close along the way. Like I could show you this whole thing, or we could make this conversation really, really easy. And this is the question. What specifically would you like to experience or achieve in this situation? They tell you. Now, you have to be wildly transparent, clear, and, and, and just upfront of if you can deliver that or not. In a relationship, instead of trying to show them why you're the hottest, sexiest, most lovingest, most amazing, most incredible human on the planet, and no one will ever be as amazing as you, what ends up happening is in the beginning, People get all excited and hyped up and oversell each other on how they're going to have the most amazing relationship in the world. And then over time, it gets a little hard. And then over time, they stop doing all the shit they promised they were going to do in the beginning. And then you hear stuff like, they're a liar. 
or I hate salespeople because salespeople always oversell and then never deliver. You, you hear stuff like this, and my thought is, ah, there's such an easy solution to this. There's such an easy solution to this. And the solution is so simple. The solution is, what specifically are you trying to achieve? Okay, great. Let me look at my capacity, what I know I can do. And if I can do it, I would love the opportunity. If I can't deliver whatever it is you're trying to accomplish, I will connect you with someone I who believe who can deliver whatever it is that you're looking to accomplish. That really simple little equation there is a game changer in intimate relationships, business relationships, hiring and firing people, um, bringing people on your team, working together, family relationships. And all it is is getting very clear on what has to happen. I gave this example the other day. Someone reached out to me and they said, listen, we want to hire you to come and do, you know, speak at this event for us. I said, great. Here's how much we charge. And I, I threw out a number and they said, okay, that, that's a sizable number. And I said, but more importantly than the number, what specific result would you need to have me help you achieve in order for you to be thrilled to pay this number? They stepped back. They said, okay, we need X hundreds of tickets sold by X date at X price. I said, okay, give me a minute. Let me ask my team and see if we have the bandwidth to do that. So I went and talked to our team. I said, hey, do we have the bandwidth to sell X number of tickets in X amount of time at X price point in this part of the world? And they said, you know, if that was the only thing we had to do, we could probably do it. But at all the other projects we're working on right now, we probably can't do that. So I said, no problem. I said, thank you for telling me. I went back to the people who asked us. I said, listen, thank you so much for the opportunity. Thank you so much for the offer. As much as I'd love to be part of your event, based on the results you're asking us to achieve for you, we don't have the bandwidth to currently make that happen. But, you know, if you'd like, I could suggest maybe two or three other people that might be able to help. They wrote back and they said, oh my gosh, let us clarify. It, we don't need you to do this. It's what we need to do. Where we need your help specifically is, and then they gave us a list of things they needed help with. We need you to help in this specific way. We need you to do these kind of promotions. We need you to do this kind of training. We need you to do these kind of things in this amount, in this sequence. And I went, oh, that I can do. And all that happened is we got really specific on exactly what they desired in order to claim this to be a giant victory for them. And then I was able to say either, yes, I can do that for you or no, I can't. And that allowed us to align and then get specific on where we were going, which made it a victory. Now, I know I can deliver on this and I know I can over deliver on this. Our core values as a company is number one, care, number two, have fun, and number three, over deliver. And so I know I can over deliver for what it is this group is asking for. Therefore, easy peasy, this is gonna be a great relationship. We're gonna have a ton of fun working together and, and I'm gonna over deliver for them. They're gonna be thrilled that we got to work together. Um, so I would ask you in the next 24 hours, look around at somewhere or, or something in your life that you're all hyped up about. Look around in a place that you might oversell yourself and instead really simply just ask, what would have to happen for you to be thrilled to move forward with whatever it is, going on a date? hiring me to do X, me hiring you to do Y, like whatever it is, what would have to happen for you to be thrilled to be doing this together? Based on that, say, listen, I'm going to take a moment. I'm going to reflect. I'm going to see if I actually have what it takes to help you with that. If I do, I'll step up and deliver. If I don't, I'm just going to make sure that I point you in the direction of someone who I believe who can help with that. Just please test this out, try it out, see what happens, have fun with this. And I'll see y'all tomorrow for day number 33 of our 100-day 
personal performance and business growth challenge. Whoops. <laughs>